disappointing to concede the goal against Luton, but uh, the first goal, your free kick was, we call it a cracker. Good goal. Yeah, but it's only one point. I think we are very disappointing with the point because I think uh, we play better than, than them. But uh, I'm happy with my goal because it was time that uh, I didn't score a goal. So uh, hopefully I score more goals from the three kicks. Uh, we all thought it was going maybe four, five foot wide until the very last second, and it, it flew in. I mean, uh, do you practice those a lot? Those kind of those kind of uh, free kicks? No, I practice all the time in the training ground with Morten Bisgar. Uh, he, uh, he, <laughs> he he took very well the free kicks as well. But um, I want to improve every day. And this season uh, I score only one goal from the free kicks. Last season I scored seven, so hopefully uh, I score more goals from the free kicks now. Because I think last season you hit the, the, the crossbar or the woodwork about 12 times, so that was disappointing. You could have scored yeah, another 12 goals last season. Yeah, I did, yeah. But uh, hopefully uh, uh, I score more goals. Uh, I didn't hit the, the post, uh, so. so uh, I had to, imp to improve this season. Are you finding life more difficult because everybody in the championship now knows Inigo Diakef, they know the kind of player you are, what you can do. Do you find you're being more heavily marked this season? Yeah, I think this season is more difficult than last season because uh, everybody knows me and it's very difficult for me. Mm -hmm. But uh, uh, we have to, to try and we have to, to do a lot of things and I think uh, we have to, to improve all the time. And if, if the other teams mark, uh, mark to me, we have to do uh, another things. But you must find it a compliment that people see you as such a dangerous player. It must be nice what for you to know that they're scared of you. Yeah, but uh, that's football. Uh, we know everything and, and uh, we have to do another things. Can I ask you about Paul Thurwell? Because he's a player that people don't necessarily notice, they don't see on the pitch. They don't necessarily realise the kind of player he is and what he does. But he's quite an important part of the side in midfield, isn't he? Yeah, yeah, he's very important because he, uh, he works very, very hard. Uh, he go forward, he go backwards, and I think he's a very, very good player. We have very good players in, in, in the middle, because I'm just a good player, and Boulder, last season uh, I enjoyed, I enjoyed uh, a lot with him, so we have very good players. What about this time for footballers, especially Spanish footballer? Because four games in eight game, uh, in eight days, five games in twelve days. As a Spaniard, you're not used to that kind of intense period. Here is very difficult uh, because we play uh, a lot of games in few days. In Spain, for example, uh, my friends are on holiday ten days, so uh, it's very difficult. Yeah. And what about your bookings? We we spoke. Last season about bookings, earlier this season. How disappointed are you to pick up your eighth booking against yeah, Luton? I'm very disappointed with the, the last booking because it's, uh, I did only one tackle and one booking. And I can't believe. But uh, I have eight and I have to think about that, so uh, we have to look. Heading into the game against Crystal Palace, they're a good side, going well. They beat Ipswich with nine men yesterday. What can we expect from Palace? I think um, they are a very, very good team. So I think we are improving uh, every game. So it's going to be a, a very hard team, a very hard game. And they might be seeing Marco Reis back in action, of course, a player we know all about, an, an exciting player. I think he's, he's a fantastic player. Uh, the first uh, two months uh, at Crystal Palace, he played very, very well. And now I think uh, he was uh, an operation or he had an operation. So uh, we'll see. Uh, but uh, hopefully uh, he didn't play and we can relax. Finally, we, we have um, a busy period. We've we six games unbeaten now, but you know, many of them are draws. Is there any concern that we're not scoring enough goals? Yeah, we have three points because uh, we have a lot of draws and it's very, it's very difficult to go up to the table.